talk about it. <laughs> hey, YouTube. What's up? Okay, now that that's out of the way. Now that that's out of the way. Hello. Welcome. We're going to be finishing off Dredge. We're going to be finishing off Dredge. This is a fun thing to come into. Listen, I just wanted to go over my rules because sometimes I feel like we don't remember them. <laughs> good vibe. We're, we, we've got good vibes now. No more rancid vibes. No more rancid vibes, which I may have caused. Look at my sailor hat. Also, finally, it's warm out today. It's sunny. It's beautiful. I went on two walks today. I saw geese and it was great. And people were like, oh no, geese, they're scary. No. They were wonderful, and they had babies, and I loved them. And pet Moon Pie, she loves it. She loves it. You went bowling? That's awesome. So today, today's stream is going to be fun. We are going to be playing Dredge. We're going to be playing Dredge. And we're going to be finishing Dredge, because there's actually not that much left. I actually checked. I was like, how much is left of this game? Literally, we get the relic, we go to the collector, collector does some shit. Done. Game done. <laughs> So we might do a little bit of exploring. We'll see. We'll see about that. Um, there's not like too much we haven't really seen as far as I know, unless I'm completely missing something. But there is one thing I do want to do. I want to see that boat. I want to taunt the boat. That scary boat that comes out at night. I want to fuck with it. I think I'm going to do it. Ah. Uh. New people. I can change my username. It will, it will not tell me that you are a new user, though, because Twitch has a thing, and it, it'll be like, new user. Dragon Shark w used to be JG, but it didn't say first time chat, so I was like, oh, you're not new. I see. You're somebody who's talked in here before, but yeah. So yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, you can just, you can just be like, hey, I was a furry if you couldn't see, and I'd be like, all right, cool, and then I would remember that. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Okay. But yeah, what do we need to remember about Dredge? We've collected four relics, music box, a key. Was it a necklace? Welcome. Oreki, what the fuck? I haven't even started. Hello. 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 How was how was that uh, Amanda Adventurer game because what I saw of it was hilarious and amazing. I should know by now. I should have I should have learned. How was that? How was that? Thank you so much, Areki, for the raid. I'm shouting you out. Uh Areki was just playing Amanda the Adventurer, also plays a lot of uh horror games and actually gets scared by them, unlike unlike me. I only get scared by 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 water. <laughs> Interesting time. Yeah, what I saw was was awesome. I mentioned during the stream, I actually had a fear as a kid of like shows like Dora the Explorer or Blue's Clues actually like responding to me for real. Cause I was, I was one of those dumb kids that would be like, will you like, um, what's his name from Blue's Clues would be like, will you help me? And I'd be like, no. And I was afraid that he would be like, well, fine. And then walk off screen and then it would just be blank. That was like a legit fear of mine. <laughs> Don't allow people on Twitter dis to dissuade you from it. It- Okay, yeah, I- From- Getting channel points ignored- No! Well, okay, fine. I'll ignore your bits. God damn it. Hey, monks. Um. But, um. From what I saw, I was kind of like, eh, it looks like the new Scrimbly Bimbly. Looks like the new Scrimbly Bimbly. But what I saw of, of your stream, I was like, this is kind of scrimbly bimbly, but at the same time, it's hilarious and awesome, and I want to check it out. <laughs> anyway, getting off track. Getting off track. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. I'm Spoonie. I am an indie horror streamer. Tonight, we're playing an indie horror game called Dredge, and if you haven't checked it out, definitely do. Definitely do. And uh, after that... What? Why did it... What? Is that an actual... What? Why did it do two? What? 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 I've never seen that. Anyway. Anyway, we're playing Dredge. It's a fishing horror game. Oh, thanks for the water. Thanks for the water. Hang on. Let me take a sip. A big boba. Oh, I almost got boba today. I should have. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. I've never, I've never seen it. It's, it's done it. It's done it twice. It's done it twice. 
Why? And it's just... Oh. New horror game people are gonna jump on, like, FNAF and Slendy. And there's hate about it. Oh. Oh. Well, I should play it before people hated it too much. But I, I liked what I saw. It was great. It was great. Do I have any bots working through? Oh, I do. I do through Mix It Up. Okay, so maybe maybe that's Mix It Up doing that. I don't know. We'll, we'll check it out. We'll check. I'll, I'll I'll look into that. That that's that's helpful though. That's cool. I don't know. I didn't set that up. Anyway, Dredge, fishing horror game. I'm finishing it tonight. There's not that much left, and after that, I'm gonna play play uh, play Cult of the Lamb, the DLC. So if you haven't joined my cult yet, you can do that tonight. Um, I'm going to see if I can set up the uh, Twitch thing, I'm a Bob, which I'll, I'll get into that later. I'll, I'll do a BRB and I'll do that later. Uh, but without further ado, I should probably shut up, play the game. Play the game, right? Play the game. We'll get up here. There we go. All right, we have one relic left. We have one relic left. That load. Soup. We gotta have some soup. Don't pay attention to this. Don't. <laughs> Sing the Dredge theme song. Dredge in darkness and silence through the night. What a dredge. I'm searching and I melt into you. Dredge. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to Devil's Spine. Maybe we'll find some cool shit on the way to Devil's Spine. But for now. But for now. My boat is so slow. Good afternoon, Corgi. What a fear in my heart. We are so supreme. I give my life. Not for honor, but for dredge. Fish eater. I'm still in the sea. Fish eater. Hey, thanks again for helping me out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. She hands you a book. The cover is dusty, but in otherwise good condition. If you ever need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my guest. Okay. Still... Oh, I still have a crab pot. Snake eater. I should pot that crab. Um, I could get this. So I'm so mad. I found out from my other game I was playing. Uh, you can only get one of these. So fuck that. <laughs> you can only get one of those. It's a ripoff. So it's it. What's the point? What happened? Nothing. I, I was singing the Dredge theme song. Yeah, I dredged all over the place. And I uh, dredged up some... Uh, some of this. Uh, the builder gave me a, um, a book. It was cool. That's it. That's all that happened. Um, I plan on fucking with the boat tonight. The other boat. The evil boat. I wanna fuck with the boat. Dredging it up. We're dredging it up. I have some bait. What do I do with this? Whale. What's up there? Oh! I'm saved! Saved! 
Oh, you are a sight for sore eyes. You look terrible. Are you okay? I bet I do. I've certainly felt better. I've been chewing on seaweed and starfish for longer than I'd like. I washed up here. Oh, it must have been be some two weeks ago now. We were in the rough seas, and when a wave hit us broadside, I was jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have come to find me by now, but yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? Uh, yes. That's a relief to hear. I thought for sure those sorry sac sacks would be halfway across the sea with my boat by now. Can you get me to Little Mar little Marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them when they next stop by. Yes, I'll take you to Little Marrow. Oh, no! Um, there we go. Get on my boat. Castaway climbs aboard. Let's go. I wonder if, like, he's always there, or if he only appears, like, a certain amount of time into the game. Now I'm curious about that. That'd be interesting. Bum. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Someday I'll stream Snake Eater. Bum 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 bum. It's everybody's favorite Metal Gear game. The sweet, rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you for someone who has just been saved. He seems gloomy. I've not much on me, as you can imagine, and I'm feeling this isn't worth much anymore, for me at least, but perhaps it'll be worth something for you. He removes a... a ring! Okay. The Better Horizons, friend. For farewell. Alright, I'm gonna sell it immediately. Thank you for your... Thank you for your item. Oh. 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 There we go. Um. Still. Revengeance. That's the only one you've played. Well, I guess Metal Gear in general, yeah. The first one? Because, uh, Snake? I do like the first Metal Gear Solid a lot. I think it's the... Huh, it's the most solid. Anyway. Though Snake Eater is, like, the most beloved one, um... I, I have a nitpick with Snake Eater. Um, that is really stupid. But let me tell you about my s silly, silly nitpick. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. Um, there's no radar. There's no overhead radar thing. There is a radar, but it's like a different kind of, like, I, I, I can't understand it. Also, it didn't sell all my trinkets. What the fuck? Um, there's like an overhead map in the first two, uh, MGS games, and that's not, oop, that is not in Snake Eater because it's like, what, the, what is it, the 50s, 60s? I don't remember actually. Um, but it is back in the day, so they wouldn't have an overhead map, I guess, but, um, you know. You know. I, dude. Sons of Liberty is so wacky. It's so wacky. I was trying to sell my fish, but I forgot. You don't take my fish. That. Okay. Um. It! Sorry. <laughs> my terrible noises. There's so much about 2 that is, like, so ridiculous. Okay, let me, let me just uninstall that. I don't want that. Oops. There we go. Um, the, the ice cubes! They melt in real time! They melt in real time! This game came out in 2001! Why would they have ice cubes melt in real time? Stupid. Anyway, it's 1 a.m. I'm gonna go fuck with a boat. I'm gonna go fuck with a boat. I'm gonna go try my best to go fuck with the boat. 
Where's my guy? Where are you, boat? I will find you. I'm gonna find this fucking boat. Where are you? Is it too early? Is it too- is it too- Is it too late? It's too late. I think it's too late. Man. I swear I've seen it, like, behind Greater Marrow. You had your first nope moment? What was it? I think I've seen about everything. I have seen the boat. Um, I just didn't realize it was the boat, I think. It was making boat noises at me, though, and it didn't look like a boat. <laughs> um... So I wanna- I wanna- I want to attack the boat. It was a big nope? Oh, is it the Leviathan? Oh. I've encountered that once, just not on stream. That was scary. Okay, um... Hello. Hello. My friend. Hmm. 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 Alright. We got that castaway. The boat's everywhere. So we might as well go to Devil's Spine. Start heading that way. I got the, uh... Tentacle. Once. That scared the shit out of me. I did not expect that one. I only got it once. Only got it once, though. Is that cloth or is that wood? Looks like wood. I don't, I don't need wood right now. I don't need that right now. Bum bum ba da dum. Da 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 dum dum da dum dum. Bum bum ba da bum. All right, I think this is my favorite location. I do like Stellar's Basin a lot. Oceanic. Oh, well, why can't I get Oceanic? No. Ah oh, man. Ah. Shit. Yay. Finish my reading. There's some dolphins. No, I want to go here. All right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Who, buddy? All right. Let's go in. There's some stuff over there. A man meets you as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. Oh, rapturous day, a fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. I've been expecting you. It was foretold by gyromancy. All right. Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. I have been calling, and now you are the answer. The rite of purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. I'm listening. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me what does your spirit seek? Emptiness. Yes, a pure vessel. Only those devoid of mortality can ascend past it. And your flesh, what does it crave? The warmth of the sun. And yet it eludes you. Darkness is cast over the rest of your days. Finally, what does the world deserve? Nothing. A drop spot from over on my dope, and now his gun! 
<laughs> no spot. Exactly, and yet it takes endlessly, harvesting, draining, but soon it will know that it has taken too much. It is already too late. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as Herald of the Purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearths of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Visit the shrines of the deep. I will mark them. They will offer further guidance, and I must provide no more. Okay. What's this? Whoa, I need that. Whoa, I need that. Cool. Whoa. Bum bum. Awesome. Okay. Could probably upgrade my hull now. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, so much shit. Oh. Oh, wow. Awesome. We got some stuff. My glasses. Oh, it's late. I should go home. Or I should go dock somewhere. Where is that? Oh, there's a message. <gasps> you! I have a bone to pick with you. Where'd you go? What the fuck? No! 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 <laughs> He's honking back at me, but... Honking back at me a little bit. Mm. Oh, everything okay? You're just standing there for a while. Need to have a rest? Yeah. Um... Let me also, uh, float the dog. Awesome. Awesome. Give me that upgrade. Awesome. Now I can, um, do this. Get rid of all this shit. I have so much. I have so much. I have too much. Get it out. Uh, that? Ooh. Get all these, and then we're fresh. We're clean. Awesome. That is one thing about this game, is there is, like, no scarcity in supplies for your boat. Which is fine. It's fine. Butterfish. Okay, let's read this. It's, uh... Are you gonna fuck me up? Are you gonna fuck me up? Don't you fuck me up. Stop. Stop, you're making me slower. You're making me slower. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. You're making me slower. Yeah, fuck off. Meowdy. Meowdy Mayu. We're gonna beat this game tonight. Mm-hmm. All right. I forgot what I was doing. I was gonna read that message. Let's read it. Oh, we got two. Tattered receipt. Goldsmith and son. Little Marrow. Uh, received the sum of fifty dollars and zero cents in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mounting. Additional notes. Received a further three dollars for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Customer to return tomorrow, 23rd December, for collection. Engraving is to be as follows. For J, my shining star. 
My darling, I have found you at last. When you left, I was scattered to the winds, but now I feel almost whole again. There is just one thing left to do. Throw me back. It's a recurring theme in this game. Throwing back. Throw it back. Throw what back? Throw who back? story in this game is immaculate. Tell me about this. Um, what was this place? Some kind of ancient civilization must have lived here. Judging by the state of the buildings, things didn't go so well for them. Can't imagine they built all this around an active volcano. So the volcano must have become active sometime after they founded their city. I'd guess that the volcano caused them to leave or wipe them out one way or another. All in all, it's a pretty inhospitable place. I'm not really sure why I come here. Are you always out on the water? Yeah, always. I like to keep moving along. The merchanting is secondary to the traveling, really. I'm more of a merchanting traveler. I get to see a lot of places, which is nice. I also get to meet a lot of people, which is only sometimes nice. <laughs> it's dredging timeline. Gets me emotional every time. God. You ever see strange things out at sea? Mm. Strange things? Plenty. But I try not to dwell on them. You could go crazy, you know? <laughs> but hey. If you're seeing strange things, maybe you're not seeing them the right way. Maybe they're not so strange after all. Or perhaps they are, and they're incredibly dangerous. Better not risk it. No, I wanna risk it. I wanna, I wanna get that fucking boat. Okay, so we gotta go here. You know what, I wanna buy some explosives. I think I need those, or at least one. Real quick. High minded defense. Ooh. I'll use that. I have no money. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so we got these stupid little tiny fish that are gonna attack us all the time. Make us slower. And it's annoying as fuck. Got a goblet. Okay. Here's one. Stone shrine. An upright slab bears a carving. Two heavily plated creatures locked in battle. A lower slab holds two shallow grooves. Okay, so we need to throw out a crab pot. Let's go get a crab pot. Minmo! We're finishing this game tonight. Sailing. Sailing. Alright, do you- wait, I have to go to the fish market for that. You've got this. Awesome. Here for the seafood. I want- I want ordered seafood. I want sushi, but that's expensive. <laughs> I- I will settle for grocery store sushi, maybe. Sometimes I can scratch the itch just fine. So maybe I'll do it. Okay, I'm gonna put haste on because I don't want those tiny fish coming after me again. But they don't like the, the volcano smoke steam. So. That's not it. Do, 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 do. game rules. Oh god. Get steamed. Steamed. <gasps> I haven't had crab in so long. Crab is pretty good. Ooh, another message. That's not a message. What is this? This is special. Oh. Bring that to the collector. Okay, where am I going? Okay. Not here. It is getting late already. Let me explore. Let me get this fucked up fish. Yes! That's not fucked up. 
It it's already fucked up in its own special way. Yes! A grinning maw turned upwards to the sky, wing-like fins ready to take flight. Fuck yeah. Welcome back. A furry that I can see now. Because you're back. <laughs> Jokes. I thought Twisted Spine or whatever was way more of a maze than this, but... I also went here before Twisted Spine for some reason on my own game. Awesome. Okay. Cool. I also need a Stingray for that. I'll get this. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm bad at dredging. It's too fast. There we go. Of all of that for that, is these better be expensive fucking earrings. God damn. Went through hell for that. There's a fucking boat. I'm ready to fight that boat. Go away. No, go away. You're attracting the beast. Oh, so I realized- Ugh! I'm trying to talk about shit! Why did you fuck up my boat? Hatred of man. No, hatred of fish. Oh, god damn it. The sanity effects are happening. The thing I realized. Those, like, basalt rocks, right? Um. Christ. Oh, it's after me. Oh, it's after me. Oh, it's after me. Oh. oh. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked! My mini-eyed mackerel. What do you mean? Oh, cool! <laughs> I didn't know that could happen. I'm fucked! Ah. Well. This is why this is a horror game. Alright. I mean, I did so much, too. I didn't do so much. But, uh, let me go around the other way. So I have more room. Uh, haste. Yeah. Ah, oh, 267 million. Get away from me, you fuck. You ass fuck. Get away! Alright. What's this other one? So we need a ghost fish, and we need a, uh, stingray-looking fellow. Assholes. Assholes. Get in the steam. Get steamed. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it looks like we... Do we need a... an explosive? No, we don't. Could use one, but... Two malformed fish. Oh, I had those. Alright, well, let's go, um... We just need two fucked up fish. So... It's raining! It's raining! Do I still- yeah, I have an N explosive. So I can use that for here. You've missed so many of my deaths. So many of them. I've definitely died 267 million times. That's a real thing. Okay, so there's that. I could get these stupid ruby earrings. Thank you, whoever did it. I'm just gonna get these stupid ruby earrings real quick. Yay. That's not even ru- There's a ruby ring this time. 
Oh, does it change depending how good I do? Does it matter? Thank you, Mayu. All the credits will be seen tonight. This is the only relic I have to get. So I'll get through this pretty quick. There's like two other things I want to do, and that's fuck with the boat. There's, there's some fucked up fish over there. I want to fuck with the boat. Fuck off! No! Where's the steam? Speaking of boat. Speaking of the boat. This is like the second area I went to in my own playthrough. Um, and I shouldn't have gone to this place this early. <laughs> this is meant to be end game shit and I was like, no, nah, I want to go here now. I like this place. It looks cool. And you can if you want, and you can beat it if you want. Oh, fuck off. No. Oh god. If only fishing up rings was that easy in Earl's day off. You're right. You're right. Mm. I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna drink some water. Also, I didn't mention it yesterday. I, I fixed up the water me redeem. I have a giant thing of uh, boba that shows up when you redeem water me. Yeah, check it out. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, whoop, whoop. Okay, no, we're good. Alright, let's check these crabs. We got one! Squat lobster. Squat lobster! Sorry. Only, uh, older people will understand that. <laughs> I don't know, do do kids do, do, do the younger folk know about Rock Lobster? <laughs> My foxhound name. It's me, Squat Lobster. I've known people my age that don't know about Rock Lobster, so or the B-52s in general, and I'm like, what what? What do you mean you don't know about the B-52s? I should check out the dredge speedruns. Oh, I imagine. I imagine they're crazy. <laughs> I've been seeing um, Resident Evil 4 remake uh, speedrun tech. It's great. Um, the island? So the island? Um, you know the laser fences? People have been finding ways to get through those fences by just, you know, getting um, enemies to push them through. It's great. That's pretty standard, honestly. Let's go. You're the one who did Love Shack? Yeah. I have... Oh, did I already explode a thing? I guess I did. And there's this. In this game, it's Love Shark. No, it's the Squat Lobster! Oh wait, yeah, Love Shark. That's the other song. <laughs> I'm a fan of Devo. And I realize every day Nobody knows anything about Devo, other than Whip It. Whip It good. Nobody knows anything about- Devo still- like, Mark Mothersbaugh has made music for like, everything. I, like, I'm dead serious. His like, music company, um, which I forget the name of, has made like, soundtracks for so many fucking movies. And cartoons. 
He did the he did the soundtrack to uh, Rugrats. He did the blue do 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 do. There's that fish. Um. He did Rocket Power. Are we not men? Okay, Sarah, you're my best friend now. We are Devo. I'm sorry, Devo is. <laughs> I love Devo so much. <laughs> that's that's rock lobster, I'm sorry. Um Rocket Rocket Power. Oh. It's something else. I I I'm maybe I'll have to bring up his uh Wikipedia page. List all the things he has done. Mark Mothersbow, um, obviously was a member of Devo. There's Mark and Bob. They both do music, but it's mostly Mark. Uh, Mark did uh, music for Crash Bandicoot. He at least worked on the music for Crash Bandicoot, s the series, and also Jack and Daxter. And, um, I have feelings. Mark Ployer? No. Not the same. Not the same man. I think I might find a stingray... somewhere. That's a shark. That's a shark. That's a shark. Alright. Yes, 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 yes. What is this? Ugh. I don't want this right now. Is it only a daytime fish? Maybe it's only a daytime fish. I don't know if I understand that reference. There they are. Yeah, it looks like it's only a daytime fish. Damn it! That was gonna be skill. Damn it. <laughs> I should stop trying to be skillful. There we go. Pale skate. I love the music in this game. It's so, like, mood. We got some fish! I gotta say, out of all the fishing horror I have played, now that I've played so much, this is definitely my favorite. Hands down. It's also like a full ass game. It's not just like a mood piece or a, you know, a funny like 15 minute, 20 minute adventure. Though Earl's Day Off, that, that was, that ruled. As goofy as Earl's Day Off was, I really enjoyed Earl's Day Off. It- it does- it's a very creepy game. By just, like, suggesting. It's got such good vibes, too. Um, here you go. Rock splits. It's awesome. See, they give you so much shit. They give you so much. Endless amounts of shit. Alright. Be gone, you foul beast. Foul. Hate. Sorry. If ever I can, if I can ever control the camera with my mouse, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> It's just part. It's just part of the appeal. So I was looking at, um... More games to stream coming up. Because I'm finishing this tonight, so... Um... I need more games to play. And there's gonna be a bit of a lull. Um... But... 
the week after next, uh, Proxy and I are going to start playing um, Little Nightmares 2. I keep wanting to call it Little Big Planet. <laughs> uh, it's not Little Big Planet, guys. It's not. Um, but... The dev of Hypnagogia, which I really enjoyed. I don't know if you guys did as well. I, I'm pretty sure everybody in chat really liked uh, Hypnagogia. Um, made a, another game recently. I believe it's called Interior, Interior Worlds? It's not exactly a horror game, but it's definitely creepy enough that it works as a horror game. And they're also- like, I, f I found it creepier than Hypnagogia, so. And that's a horror game. So, Hypnagogia was the one that was made for the LSD Dream Emulator jam. Um, that was like small dream worlds, PS1 style. Uh, I played it right after it in Nemoiapolis. Yeah, 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 yeah. I enjoyed that one a lot. The style, the vibes. Uh, so, Interior Worlds is basically PS1. Animoiapolis. However, you have a camera and you take pictures. And I felt that that was like perfect. That was perfect uh, game mechanic to add to a liminal space game if, if you get catch my drift. So on both Steam and Itch, yeah. Soda Raptor is the dev. Good shit. I, I, so far, I really like Soda Raptor's stuff. Um, so I want to play that next week. Um. And eventually I will play Hypnagogia Boundless Dreams, but that's going to be a two-parter stream, probably. Or just a really long one stream. And then... Then we'll play Little Nightmares 2. And then next month... Guess what? It's Silent Hill Summer. <laughs> I think a lot of people in chat haven't been here for Silent Hill Summer. Yippee! <laughs> All of June, I play Silent Hill. <laughs> Minmo's here! Yep. Hell yeah. So all the new folks. I may or may not be planning to play the first three games in one stream. Maybe. <laughs> There may be a twist, I don't know. Other than playing all of them. No, I won't do a speed run. I'll try. Okay, let me let me let me let me let me introduce some ideas to you all. Okay. Let me let me give you a sneak peek of my ideas. I want that to be my fundraiser stream this year. My 24 hour fundraiser stream. That is what I want to do play the first three Silent Hill games in 24 hours. That is what I want to do. And also, that's why I, that's why I do it, is my, uh, my birthday is in June, and Silent Hill is my favorite game series, so... So, I want to do it. Um, so, for another theater fundraiser, I would like to play all three... the, the first three Silent Hill games and have, like, fun um, donation incentives, like donating $60 to make me not skip the cutscenes or something like that. But I'm not sure if it would be preferable to be like, okay, for an hour you can skip the cutscenes, or for an hour you can't skip the cutscenes. Because the whole goal is I want to be able to finish all three games within 24 hours. Um, which is possible. It is possible. I also want to have donation incentives like here. Uh, also, thank you for the cheering. <laughs> we can have donation incentives like drop the last- drop an item in your inventory. I don't remember if you can drop items in your inventory. I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure you can. Not key items, obviously, but like health items and stuff. I tried to look up, like, crowd control for Silent Hill. Nobody's done it, unfortunately. 
there is no crowd control. I do know speedrun strats, and I have done speedrun strats for the first Silent Hill on stream. <laughs> I know a few others for the other games, but I, I don't really. I know the most about the first. Oh, Jesus Christ! This was a mistake. Get away from me. Get away from me. Fuck! Oh, my engine. Oh. Oh, oh, sad. No. Ooh, Silent Hill dredge. Oh, and just imagine you're, you're dredging in the lake. What is it? Toluca Lake? That's it. Just find all these bodies. How many bodies was it? There was like something. It, it was in the in the in the second game, right? There was like a memorial thing that said very specifically, "This many bodies were thrown into the lake," and it's like, "Cool, thanks. Cool, thanks." But yeah, um, no, that is- the, the, the cat is out of the bag. Um, that is what I want to do in June. I haven't decided a date for it yet. Um, but I do want to do a 24-hour Silent Hill stream. And then after that, I do want to play Silent Hill games I've never played before. Including Homecoming. Including, if I can find it, Downpour. Including <laughs> Shattered Memories. I've actually played Shattered Memories, but it's a spin-off and nobody likes it but me. I liked it okay. I thought it was fine. Uh, I didn't think it was a good Silent Hill game, but I thought it was an okay like horror game otherwise. Also, I am very slow right now because my engine got fucked. So... <laughs> Yippee! You liked Shattered Memories? Okay, cool. I thought it was good. The voice acting in it was good too, which is uh, why a lot of people didn't like it probably because that is a staple of Silent Hill is the bad voice acting, so. Why is my chat faster than my stream? What do you mean? Like, the chat message is showing up in you. <gasps> Motherfucker! Fuck me up. Where'd you go? This guy is fucking with me. That is because there is lag between chat and the stream. So always the chat is going to be faster than the stream. There's going to be a couple seconds of lag. You can always refresh too to make the lag uh, less. So. Wait, there's a delay between the Twitch web page and the browser source on the stream. Hang on, somebody say something. Some somebody say something. Say something in chat. There you go. That showed up at the same time. Oh. <laughs> I understand now. I was like, what what are we what are we talking about? What are we talking? What are we doing? <laughs> it's fine. Mm. Um Oh, I have this fire. Uh, please fix my boat. I am suffering. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And we can get toward this giant fucking beluga engine. That's a Beyond Good and Evil reference. Yes! Okay. It's all... It's all delayed. It's all delayed. 
Oh, so the, these, uh, the, the basalt things. When you have high panic, uh, they have those, like, runes, like, glowing runes on them. Um, and if you touch them, they tell- they give you visions. It, and I, I think it's like a puzzle thing. Um, or something. I haven't quite figured it out. But it's interesting. Yeah. Could've... Okay, so we got two of these. And... We need... Uh, one more fucked up fish. One more. Beyond good and evil, there is sadness. See, the funny thing about the game Beyond Good and Evil is the game is very much a battle of good and evil. There's nothing really beyond it. So, I don't know why they chose that name. Um, in fact... The name of the game probably resulted in the game not selling well because it's a goddamn mouthful. And nobody's gonna hear the name Beyond Good and Evil and be like, ooh, I wanna check that out. Oh, speaking of June. This is 1927, so this is before their honeymoon. Yesterday was the reading of his mother's will. Oh, jeez. Most of the remaining es estate went directly to him, of course, but to my surprise, she bequeathed, bequeathed me her pocket watch. Curious. I'm not fond of the thing, but I know that taking it will mean a lot to him. I cannot help but feel it is some veiled jab at me from beyond the grave. She was the type to do such a thing. Was I late on some occasion? I cannot recall. Oh, God. Yeah, um, Beyond Good and Evil 2 will forever be in development hell, and there's no doubt about that. It's never getting finished. Uh-oh, Kumba. Hello. <laughs> A sailor's life is the life for me. Tita Lump DD. <laughs> Tita Lump DD. Hello, Kumba. I went to go fishing for a fucked up fish and I didn't get it. Maybe it was in the message, I don't know. I ran right into those fuckers, huh? Get away from me. Get away from me. Thank you. Alright. We gotta find that fucked up fish. Oh, you have low latency? I see. That- that'll do it. That'll do it. Stay away from me. Stay away from me, beast. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Let's, uh, be near. No, get- get away. Not near you. Get away. Um... Where's the fucked up things happening? I wanna- I wanna fish up fucked up fish. If I just spin in one spot- yeah. If I spin. If I spin, time will pass. <laughs> and maybe there will be fucked up fish somewhere. Nah. That's not good content. I want to make you guys good content. Please. You gone, foul beast. Oh, is that one of the... Ow! Be gone. Be gone. <laughs> Honestly, I'd watch that in real life. Woo! Oh, 
awesome. Stone tablet. Get away from me, fishy. Okay. Be gone, foul beast. No, I don't want this. I don't want this garbage. Ah! Ah! He doesn't care. He got one nibble and was like, I don't care anymore. <sighs> I'm gonna die! You're gonna kill me! Ow. Alright. Oh god, yeah. What was that? What was- I keep seeing- okay. To those of you in chat, I was watching Areki's stream earlier. And Kabashi in chat uh, redeemed a thing with- <laughs> with Ereki's chat bot. And it just did a loud, like, <sighs> and we thought, everybody in the chat thought it was in the game. <laughs> we were like, oh, that's in the game. And then we realized, no, it was the TTS bot. And there was nothing in the message that would have caused that. Yeah, you could share the clip. It was, uh, I literally thought it was in the game, and then I saw the little TTS bot's mouth moving, and I was like, what happened? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay, let's go back. Sometimes, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure, because he I'm hearing uh, stuff from other people now, that sometimes... Um, chat messages from other chats will be sent to a different chat. They'll get, like, mixed up. Maybe somebody sent demon noises to another chat and they got mixed up. That would have been really funny timing. Ah. That would have been really funny timing. Wouldn't it? Yes. Yes, it's very loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, let's drop off our flames. Skipped over someone else before it got to mine. I cleared the redeems and I used a repeating message, so I think maybe it overlaid itself. That that's a possibility. I I'm sure most people in the chat have seen it by now, but there I had a message that wasn't in Moon Pie's voice um, that I have set for her, and. Um, it was just some British man's voice saying, just inserting my dominance as the alpha. And nobody redeemed that. And I got so scared. <laughs> um, oh, we're putting fire. Cold, cold flame roars in the statue's hand. Which statue do you want to look at? Middle. Holds a stone crucible. It's empty. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we have one more. We just gotta catch fucked up fish, so let's just go dredging. Pass the time- Message. Is that one we already read? Oh, interesting. It's- it's so funny how robots fuck up. Yeah, we already read that one. Okay. There's the motherfucker. Oh, there's the motherfucker. Be gone! Alright. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. If you get her to do it, I'll be very happy, honestly. And all my inner demand to demand head beds and food. And my inner demand to demand head food. Energy. <laughs> 
You did it! You summoned the demons! Holy shit! How did you do it? Awesome. Oh, yeah! You summoned the demons. Yes. Yes. Maybe Uber Ducks just fucked up today. <laughs> it's the Amanda. Amanda, 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 Amanda show. It's the Amanda, 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 Amanda show. That sounded normal. Amanda, 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 Amanda show. Thank you for the follow. We summoned you. Are you the demon? Just kidding. You're not a demon. Or are you? <gasps> we can never know for sure. Welcome to Dredge. <laughs> Are the fish biting? Yeah, not in ways you would think. Not in the way that the phrase goes. Oh! Alright. Take all. Alright. Ooh. I have to go cook a bikini. What does that mean? Ah, uh, hello, Vital. So the answer is yes, but... Yes. Exactly. Uh, I don't have cloth. We do have wood, though. We do have more wood. And we do have... wait. Many of this. Many this. There you go. Awesome. Cool. I don't know. Uh, the Amanda show is very much like LOL random core humor. I feel like every like generation needs that like LOL random XD humor. I don't know what the show is nowadays for kids. That's LOL random. Is it Uncle Grandpa or is that gone? That was pretty LOL random. That was years ago, though, now. <laughs> what is the LOL random show? Goodbye! I have to go cook a bikini. Okay, Amanda. You have fun. The bit from that show that sticks with me to this day is, uh, it was one of the girls' room segments girls room and uh, they had like a talent show thing going on right and uh, there was like I think she was the cafeteria lady she did an interpretive dance with a melon and for some fucking reason it stuck with me and she just brings a melon out of her bag and she's just like melon Cousin was a headlining actor and all that. That rules. God damn. I didn't watch that much all that. But I did like Keenan and Kel. Random, 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 random show. <laughs> the random show. Good job. Yeah. I feel like I find fucked up fish all the time. Maybe I should just fish until I find a fucked up fish. I'm gonna fish until I find a fucked up fish. I think we can do it. I could also install my, uh... What's it called? The trawl thing? I can do that. Oh, there's a fucked up fish. Cool. I already had one in there, right? Wait, this is different. What is this? Oh. Okay. In the dim light of the cave, you can make out some paintings on both walls. Check the left wall. These paintings depict the birth of a civilization. A great beacon of light is shown, repelling a tentacle figure emerging from the sea. 
In the dim light of the cave, you can make out some paintings on both walls. Check the right wall. These paintings depict the fall of a civilization. A volcanic eruption tears through a tall lighthouse. Monstrous shapes devour people as buildings turn to ruin. Hmm. Is this what happened? Climb the many steps leading up to the ancient lighthouse. At its base is a solid stone door. You can't see a handle, but there's a large socket carved into the face of the door. That's gotta be the shit that I've been collecting. I wonder if the collector will give- not the collector, the the, the- the- the trader will give me shit for that. That might be interesting. Those are some cool paintings. Yeah, I know, right? The detail. Incredible. I do like how this game is a bit like a visual novel. But with, you know, exploration. I kind of want to try something like that. I feel like you could do something like that in Renpai. I know somebody has uh, put code together to do like a walk around thing in Renpai. I don't know how well it works, but... Oh god, I'm so far away. Maybe I should go to the dude. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. I, I, I can drop my fish off, at least. Drop my fish off. At the very least, we can do that. Ooh. Yep. Alright. Yes, you can do that. Like walk around. Why would I run pie moon pie? Moon pie run pie. Oh. I'm gonna send that to storage. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I have a plugin saved somewhere. I have a lot of plugins for run pie saved. I want to do like, um, what is that fucking called? The parallax? Parallax? Is that what it's called? Like the background that moves in layers? I'm gonna do that for a visual novel someday. Um, but if I ever do any other visual novels, I kind of want to just do them for other people. Oop. Like, I want somebody to give me a script and be like, make a game out of this, and I'll be like, cool. And I'll just make all the art for it. <laughs> I don't mind writing. I like writing, but I feel like peop like uh, if somebody gave me a better script, like a good script, I would enjoy just making the art for that. Parallax scrolling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you can do so much with Rempai, and it's such a simple goddamn program. It's awesome. If you ever want to get into game dev, and you don't know where to start because you're like, I don't know how to code, start with Rempai. Seriously. Like, the coding, like, it's so... It's such a good start. <laughs> How much game can you make for me for $20? Uh. <laughs> I can make you credits that say... That's it. <laughs> uh. $20 is a lot of money. <laughs> uh, a round of tic-tac-toe? Maybe. That might take a lot of work, though. I don't know. Don't go spending it all in one place. I mean, if you consider, like, the background and, like, a sprite. A background would be expensive. And the sprite. Okay, let's go to the fanatic. He waits. What is it? Oh, oh, let me ask you other things. I'm looking for sunken relics. Are there any shipwrecks around here? Relics, you say? Perhaps one such as this? He pulls an antique pocket watch from inside his robe. Droplets of a sea spray, crackle of sea spray, crackle and seeds in the air around it. You are drawn to it too, I see. It found me during my rite of proving as I scavenge for creatures of power. 
It sapped at my spirit when I first recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. As will you, when the ritual is prepared, it will be yours to carry forth. What's that scroll you're holding? I found it at the end of my other life. It washed ashore. It washed ashore as all great gifts do. It took some time for me to decipher the runes. It speaks of an incomprehensible door. And those wretched, twisted fish that swam through, their flesh is the closest thing to a key. Awesome. Are there thing others that share your beliefs? There are pretenders, failures that make a mockery of the deep. I tried correcting their ways, but I soon saw that they had lost the path. I left them to their ceaseless hunger. All right, well, the flames are lit. Ah, I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He draws the antique pocket watch from his robe. It sways hypnotically in the breeze. It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. Stand back. You are rooted to the spot. The wind picks up, swirling sea spray around the altar. A cold blue flame rises from the sodden wood at his feet. Say nothing. The freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues, no pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arms skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. A cold mist pools around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. The pyre is cold and damp. Inspect the pyre. We got our last relic. You take the pocket watch, it's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm, clock hands spinning wildly below the cracked face. Now here's the thing, we have like no game left, but there's plenty of stuff to explore, so I might be doing that before I take this to the collector. Uh, so I'm gonna rest. And uh, there's... Uh, I still want to go fuck with that boat. Um, I'll at least manifest. Yeah, the, what, the writing in this game, you can just imagine, like what they're describing, which is really cool, uh, because when you leave a little to your imagination, that makes for good horror. I love that you can see the little rudders. <laughs> yeah! Wagging my tail. Anyway. Uh, I want to go back to Gale Cliffs. There's something I want to find there. Yeah, the writing, the dialogue the, is so good. The, oh. You gotta have good writing in a horror game. You gotta. That's like a lot of what makes this game so spooky. It's like how people talk to you. Like for real. I'm gonna go back and face the beast. Perhaps, or... There's one specific thing I found the other day, playing my other game. And, uh... I'm gonna find it here because it's fucking cool. Oh yeah, role-playing is very effective for, like, um good writing. Not always, um, but, oh, I should probably sell these fish, huh? They're stale, aw. I'm gonna go to the merchant. But, um, the last comic that I worked on, it was mostly just me and, and another person role-playing back and forth, and then, like, we would edit it. 
Uh, because it's way easier to, like, make uh, natural sounding dialogue if you're playing off of another person. Like, for real. Put that away for now. And... Oh, hell yeah. Death scenes are so, like, fun to write. <laughs> It's been a while since I've written the death scene, but... I don't kill my characters enough. Maybe I should do that. Next big game I work on, maybe maybe I should kill some people. <laughs> it sounds awful. <laughs> I, need to, I need to kill some characters. Let's go. Why does nobody die in my shit? That's not true. I've had a lot of shit where characters die. <sighs> I love making people die. Oh boy! Do I love... Mm. I just love, love looking at a character and be- or looking at a cast of characters and being like, Alright. Which character would add the most to the plot if I killed them? <laughs> There's often times where, like, I'll play a game or I'll read a story or experience a story in some way or another where a character death happens and I'm like, they only did that because out of every character that they could have killed, that was the most painful one. So they chose that character. And then it, it makes me mad. Honestly. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, Oker. Oh, Okar. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Oki. Okie dokie raid. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome, raiders. I'm gonna shout you out. Thank you so much for the raid. What were you doing? Bit trip runner. Ooh, what's that? I'm curious. I'm curious. Welcome everybody. I'm Spoonie and I uh, stream indie horror games. Right now we are checking out Dredge. We're almost done with it. I'm just exploring a little bit more. Add a bit more flavor. Um, but if you like that spooky shit, especially of the indie variety, that is what I'm all about. Uh, just be warned. This game's a bit creepy. Not very jump scary or anything, but we got some fucked up fish. Like that. I mean, it's just a fish, but we might find a fucked up one. Thank you for the bits! Okay, there's a decaying black mouth. There we go. Shimmering blackness permeates the flesh of this relentless fish. Muscles atrophied and decay! Oh! <laughs> no! I was just talking about how there's no jump scares. Help! Christ almighty! Hello! <laughs> Somewhat old rhythm game. Ooh, I love rhythm games with a bunch of sequels. Not sure if you've ever heard of Commander Video. Ah, uh, sounds familiar. Stayed up all night playing poker with draw cards. I got a full house and four people died. No, Moon Pie. That's not how that works. But yeah, we are all about the spooky stuff and making it funny. <laughs> so if that sounds like your jam, feel free to follow, kick back, relax. Enjoy the show, chill with us, all that stuff. But yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm gonna rest. But that sounds cool. I hope your raid or your raid <laughs> your stream was good. And welcome. I'm not usually like <laughs> Don't forget to eat your soup. Yeah, we love our, our soup. Redeem. Um, I'm not usually scared in horror games. Sometimes jump scares get me. Um, I don't like creatures in the water, which is why I got so frightened. <laughs> that one, I think that guy is my least favorite. I hate that guy. I hate that guy. I didn't process what was going on until he was right on top of me pretty upset about- Oh, fuck! There he is again! No! Ah! Oh, get away! I just want to see- This is why I never went this way before. 
Because you're there. No. Be gone. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> you undock next to an old rowboat. Somebody is here. He's hunched over by the campfire, muttering to himself. You cautiously approach. Did you... Did you throw it back? Uh... What? The book! The book! I don't understand. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Yeah, it's the old mayor. Who do you think I am? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him. Him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book, but something, something cloaked in fog, followed it out, right through the boat. Boom! The man makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands. Still talking to the fire as though fan pantomiming. pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming for our breath, that we wouldn't be needing it soon, and then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on the shore, and him still clutching that book. Throw it back, we cried as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely, it could still be undone. What book? Silver and crimson, the book covered in her blood. You're not making any sense. Throw it back! The man closes his eyes tight as he holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Please, the lighthouse keeper, she saw. She knows where it came from, where it, where it needs to go. Tell me more about this book. Silver and crimson, silver and crimson. Where did we see a silver and crimson book chat? Hmm. He rocks back and forth, staring through the flames. What do you know about the fog? It cloaks that calamitous thing. It's evil. Haven't you felt it? Collector. Yep. What does the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? She saw it all, that ruinous day. Ask her, beg her, tell her I... He trails off, his face collapsing in sorrow. Mm. The plot thickens. What are we? What is the collector? Who are we? Are we, like, resurrected... So these messages, right? These are all from a woman. Uh, like, she went on a honeymoon with her husband, and I think something happened to her husband, and something happened to her. I think it both- or something happened to her first, and then something happened to the husband. And I think I am supposed to be, like, resurrected husband or something or like a ghost of the husband or something like that these are my theories these are my theories this is my theory from what we're, we have been learning that is my theory thus far shit 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 oh shit shit <laughs> I ran right into that one. <laughs> no. Get away from me, beast. Okay, we still need to fuck with that boat. Ow. That's not fair. I didn't even see that. No. Uh -oh. Can't even get it. Rotten Chest sits atop a pile of rubble at the back of the cave. Look inside. Give me that. Wow, look at my boat. In a sorry shape. <laughs> amnesia? Maybe amnesia. Yeah, maybe it's amnesia. Seen both endings, but I won't share my thoughts until after you reach the end. Okay. I had the other ending spoiled for me. But it wasn't much. Um. And I don't know if there's like much more I have to do for this ending. Um, other than talk to the lighthouse lady? I, I actually don't know. I just imagine this would give me a different ending because they're telling me to throw it back. Maybe I'll do some dredging. I'll do some dredging. I'll dredge all over the place. Oh shit. I'm dredging. Alright. 
dredging out. All right. Let's go. Let's get out of here. The guy's probably coming. Whoop. <laughs> so bad at not writing paragraphs in Twitch chats. I, I understand. I just feel bad because a lot of the times when people write like a wall of text in my chat, I miss it and I don't read it all. And I'm like, damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I believe you though. I'm sure I'm sure the uh the the scene was amazing. All right, I'm going to read I'm going to read this to myself. Damn. Hell yeah. <laughs> Is it a Roblox game? Holy shit! Sometimes the most beautiful things can happen in a Roblox game. Are <laughs> rated Roblox? Hell yeah. Oh, that's the shit. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Give me, give me. I already sold my fish. Let me just get rid of these. Get in there. Also, fix my poor boat. Fix my poor boat. Roblox rated. It's only seven. I'll sleep anyway. Awesome. Cannibal employees. Awesome. Okay. I could try and go get that other fish. I kinda want to because if I if I catch that fish It's in there. Um the merchant will give me many research parts and then I can get a huge engine. If I so choose. Which would be nice. So, you know what? Sounds good. Are you after me? Are you after me? Who's after me? It was, it was after me for a second, but... Okay, yeah. Waterfall. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you mean you got dug up and had some of your limbs eaten? Those are some fucked up noises. Alright. I'm taking the L. Taking the L. I saw, <laughs> I saw a post the other day that was like, um, quoting, like, anime is for children, and then it says, it's like the anime, and then it's like some, um, some modern anime that is just like, nothing but blood and gore and people slashing each other up and stuff, and... <laughs> Somebody quote tweeted it and was like, You're acting like this isn't some, like, some anime that every, like, <laughs> edgy teenager watches. <laughs> it's true. It's true. When I was 14, I watched, uh, Elf and Lead. I shouldn't have, but I did. Like, that's the thing, is like, um, teenagers, even like, young, like, teenagers are like, super into blood and gore. They're like, HELL YEAH! Show me that Sonic.exe. Okay, I need to show you my fish. Oh. About those fish. Mm. I found... Oh, I found two. Oh. 
great news. I'll add it to my records. Yippee! Oh god, I haven't seen Grave of the Fireflies, but everybody tells me not to watch it, which makes me want to watch it more. Mm. Tokyo Godfathers is so good. I love that. Um, I love that movie. Did I play Spirit Fair? No. I don't know if I'd play that on stream. I'd probably play it on my own time, but... I would love to. It, it would probably kill me. There is one game that's um, an indie game, uh, but not a horror game, that I've been thinking about streaming solely because... Um, it, it has to do with eye tracking. Like, it tracks how much you blink, and I was waiting for, to have, like, a model where you, it tracks my blinking so I could actually blink and you guys would see it, you know? Um, but, um, holy shit. Uh, have you, have you guys heard of Before Your Eyes? Because it's really rough. It's not a horror game, but it is incredibly rough, and we know I love that, uh, the, the rough, the, the really heavy material. Who? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh no, you can raid and run, it's totally fine. I, like, it, you gotta rest, you gotta stream, or you, you streamed for so long, you gotta rest. Go for it. Enjoy that lurk. And thank you for the raid again. Yes, in Before Your Eyes, the main mechanic is there's a point where if you blink, it'll change the scene. So the whole premise is you died and you're seeing your life flash before your eyes. Fucked up. <laughs> Especially considering, like, I believe, I believe... Um, the protagonist that you're, you are playing as and that has passed away was rather young, like, like a, like a kid. Um, so, it's a bit heavy. I'm debating on whether or not I want to stream it someday, uh, especially since it's on sale and I kind of want to grab it. Um, but, holy fuck. I think we'd need an aftercare game for that. For real. Okay, one thing I want to do. <laughs> hmm. I can't afford it, so. Let's see. but it's only three blinks long because you are a fly. Exactly. Nah, I... I become a... I become a blubbering mess when it comes to, like, any... any sort of, like, story that has to do with, like, uh, spirits moving on. Fucked up. I mean, you guys saw me with Misao. <laughs> You saw me with Miso. The she she moved on and I was happy and cried. I uh, uh, oh wrong face. Ah, uh, <laughs> I was so happy. Your horror love has grown because of this channel. That is what all I really hope for. I want to get more people that don't like horror or like aren't really into horror into horror. So it makes me really happy to hear that. Thank you. Yippee. I'm so happy. Okay, let's sleep. Oh yeah, I know Spirit Fairer would fuck me up. All you loved for horror was FNAF. Ho! Oh. Oh. Ho! FNAF has some good stuff. It does. It, it, it does. I will give it to that. To, to FNAF. Bendy and the Ink Machine. Ho! Oh. <laughs> 
Uh, those are what I like to call scrimbly bimblies. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just I, I generally don't like mascot like horror stuff like that. Like Baldi's Basics, FNAF, uh, Bendy, um, Hello Neighbor, I guess, would, would counts. Oh, also, we're gonna go at the speed of light. Okay, we have 15 minutes until uh, I wanted to play Cult of the Lamb. So, I'm gonna go to the, the Lighthouse Keeper. Kind of a shame that Fear and Hunger 2 Termina has full nudity in it and makes it unstreamable. I I know of people who have streamed like stuff with not just nudity but like full on sex stuff, um, and it's like apparently I guess it's fine on Twitch as long as you're not like I don't know putting too much focus on it because I mean people stream cyberpunk and that has full on nudity. Yeah. Hello Neighbor had good, like, it, a, a very promising premise and like, earlier videos and stuff, it, it looked really cool. It looked like a great idea, but then it just fell flat. Let's talk to the lighthouse keeper. <sighs> what is it? What do you know about the Silver and Crimson book? Also, let me ask you about the old mayor of Little Marrow. <sighs> That's... He's... I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engines sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay. What do you know about the Silver and Crimson book? She shudders at the very mention mm. of the book. You're really asking me. After all this time, you know it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. You have to move on. For her sake, as well as yours take control. Be rid of that thing once and for all. All right. Okay. Continued thoughts. Wife died. Dead wife. Dead wife. I tried to bring her back with this crimson book. Summoned this demon collector man, right? And we're collecting these relics to bring her back. These are all relic- like, all of these items have something to do with her. Right? Wait, 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 there we go. Okay. Got this thing. I got a lot of items. Wait, this is not the collector. Duh. Okay. Let's just go to the trader and sell a bunch of shit. There we go. I finished Fear and Hunger 2 already, but I'm playing it again. It's such a fascinating world. It's really rough. I can see why it got banned in Germany. It's probably not streamable then, if it got banned in a country. <laughs> oh, I didn't get that. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, let's go to the collector. I'm done. I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. Unless there's something else I need to do to get the 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 good ending, the alternate ending. I don't know, Mayu. If you know, I'd love to hear. Oh wait, I need to fuck with the boat. I want to fuck with the boat. Oh, someone's making a sensor mod. Okay, then I might play it. Should I play the first one before playing the second one, though? I should talk to the collector now, like right now. Can I can I fuck with the boat first? Hang on. I'm gonna fuck with the boat first. Yeah. It's a very different game. Okay, so it's not like sequential. Or it, it might be, but I don't need to play it. Okay, let me let me get my foghorn out. I'm ready to fuck with this boat. Okay. 
I know I've seen it behind here. Oh. I'm being too reckless with my new engine. It's more of a roguelike. Ah, I see. Where are you? Where am I? Yeah. Oh, oh, there you are. No, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna get you. Come back. <laughs> oh, that's a fish. Okay, so yeah, that is- uh, it's an angler fish, okay. Oh, okay, I get it. Oh, fuck up. Fuck, fuck off. <laughs> okay, alright. We have fucked with the boat. We have fucked with the boat. We've done it. <laughs> We've done it. Alright, I'm gonna talk. <laughs> you to climb the broken steps to the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Conceal the relic. What is it? Tell me more about that book of yours. Which book? This one here? The wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of histories of the Grey Isles. It's quite a chore. Don't play dumb, you know which book I mean. Play dumb. Your hypocrisy is wearying. I suppose we must go through the rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Hmm. Go ahead. Ask us. Us? Where did you get it? Sparkling dust motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically, like a quickening heartbeat. So was she. Who? <sighs> You wanted to forget. Begged me. The room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. You take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forwards in response. <clears throat> what can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book! Strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. Whoa! Whoa, what? No! It's a mirror! What? No, fuck off, that's cool. You're pathetic. The Book of the Deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages, and now you've, you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber, find her last relic, and we can undo everything. Undo what you did. That fucking rules. That fucking rules! Oh, that's awesome. Workshop. What's that? Ah. I don't understand. Who are you? I am what was fractured from you on that day you dredged the depths. I am what you could be. I am your breathless self. You mentioned saving someone. Yes, she will r rise from the deep. The book describes it. We almost have all of the pieces, just one more. Should I deliver the relic then? Hmm. I'm gonna sleep.
I got the book, so I don't know if there's a place for me to go now. No. Or do I just deliver the relic? I think I'm gonna go for it. He approaches, drawing closer with an incessant, incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. It once fro its once frozen hands are now inexplicably, inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forwards. You place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. We will see her again soon. It will all be worth it. You know this. I know. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. You've always been with me. You are me. Okay. I'm ready. You are entering the final phase of the game. Progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Do you wish to continue? Okay, so, uh, am I making a mistake? Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna take a sip. It's, it's good the game doesn't save because it makes getting the other ending easy. Okay. Thank you for the sip. At this point, you can immediately go or talk to the lighthouse keeper. Oh. Okay, so I should leave and talk to the lighthouse keeper. Okay. So be it. Return when you are prepared. Okay. I'm gonna go to the lighthouse keeper. I have the book now, so I can give it to her. Okay, so we... So we can do this. Excuse me. Um... I have your book. I stole it from myself. What is it? I have the book. You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of this window of lucidity. Now is the time to act. Do you still remember where it happened? In that gloomy darkness behind the bay? When you are ready, I'll point the way. I'm ready. Here we go. That's it. That's what I want. Yeah. You must wait until night is thickest, until the ocean is at its... as it was all those years ago. All right. Time to get rid of this book. It's time. I'll point the way. It is nice. That is a nice touch. So then you can go back and you can see the other ending. Oh, when does this, the the RuneScape Sea Shanty start playing? Good question. Uh, hang on. It might start here in a second. Hang on. Give it. Give it a minute. I'll point the way. Follow my light. Go and do what's right for her. Throw it back. Okay. We're gonna go throw it back. Behind Greater Marrow. Hey, Redacted. This is normal. This just happens in the game. Oh wait. Okay, 
Okay, I'm sorry. I ruined the tension. I ruined the tension. Okay. Hello, Himble. Are we there? Oh, yeah. Best. Uh, oh, other nautical things. <laughs> Ash, why are you sorry? I was me. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> this is the place. Throw it back. The book struggles in your grasp, its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back! You'll, you hold it high above your head. A low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. Throw it back. You throw it into the foaming water. What do we get? Oh no! Oh god, that gave me the heebs. <laughs> oh! Good end? <laughs> good, good end? Well, it's what she would have wanted, I guess. Hang on. Well, that was Dredge. What's gonna happen? What did you guys think of Dredge? We're gonna- there's two endings. I'll check out the other one. Um, the other one is where you use all the relics. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome in. You uh, joined us right at the end of Dredge. Uh, but I am going to be playing Cult of the Lamb after this. Good There's fish? always a bigger fish. There's always a bigger fish. Hey, Zoro. It was fun. Thank you for streaming it. Thank you for being here, as always. Hello. Welcome. Um, I'm also going to shout out this game in general. Hang on. Exclamation point game. I also could have just told any one of you to do that. Um, I don't... I guess that's a thing uh, with Mix It Up, which I have connected to my Twitch now, and that's why it's doing it twice. But hey, check it out. There's two different places you could buy it. <laughs> Did I ever try to leave the game world? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that. I have heard about about that. Maybe I should try that. Of course that's what they do to, to, like, fuck with you when you try to get out of bounds. How's everyone's night? It's good. It's good. It's pretty good. I had some, uh, chicken with some tomatillo sauce. It was good. Tasty. I had- I went on two walks today. I went on two walks today. One big walk. I was gonna go get some coffee, but um, the coffee shop was really busy, and I, I was like, nah, I don't want to deal with that. Um, and then I went on another walk, and then I found a dead fish just on the sidewalk. I posted it on Twitter. It's an omen. It's just funny that it happened in the midst of all these fishing horror games. <laughs> go wash some dishes. Thanks for your help, by the way, with uh, getting this ending. Ooh. I need to explore Milwaukee more. I'm, I'm pretty close by. Go Milwaukee. Also, thank you for the bits. Thank you for returning the book. The Ocean Library thanks you. You're welcome. Also, uh, there's... Is there an after credit scene? Hang on. I don't think there is. Okay. Let's try... Our southwest-ish. I'm I'm in Genosha. I'm in Genosha. Genosha. But um, 
That's not me do doxing myself. I already say that I'm near the, the, the Kenosha Theater stuff, so you know. I want to travel to be able to play Ingress everywhere. Oh, same. Oh, I mean 20 minutes away, but... <laughs> Anyway, let's use the other ending. And we can vote on what our favorite was. That one was cool. I liked that. Oh, wrong way. I keep thinking of the collector's over there. But nah, he's over here. He's in my boat right now. He's me. favorite was the memories we made on the journey. Beautiful. Wonderful. I did really like the twist of this game. Like, for real. Hey, Collector. I'm ready. We must make one final voyage. This time I will be with you. I'm ready. Yes. Yes. Relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Okay! Now, our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Meru. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. His shape disappears from the mirror. A chill rises in your body as you turn to leave. The Collector is with you. That is so much more ominous. And he's not in my boat because he's me. Oh my god. Because I... I I saw the other ending, but not with the context of he's the mirror, he's you. Um, so it, it, didn't, it didn't say he vanishes from the mirror, it just said the Collector is with you now. And I didn't think to check a cargo. Oh god, that's so brilliant. That's so brilliant that like every time somebody gets in your boat, um, you actually have to like physically put them in your boat. And the one time you don't, it's the collector because he's you. That's fucking cool. All right, let's see this other ending. We're going a little bit over, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll still put play Cult of the Lamb. Boop 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 boop. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us, and where we can at last bring her back. Only here, and only because of what we've achieved. You open the book. Its pages are frosted with ice, and a chill mist rises from your fingers. You begin to read aloud. To release a lost one frozen in time, you throw the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, you throw the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. You throw the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens. You slot the key into the lock of the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. You throw the music box overboard, its key left unturned. I'm pretty sure if I didn't have that scene with the mirror, it says the collector did all that, not me. That's really cool. That's such a nice touch. This game fucking rules. Here she is. Hello. Lost to the sea, but I got you back. But at what cost? At what cost? Shit! Oh no. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Sorry. I love the music box. That's such a nice touch. Since we threw the music box in. Well, Greater Marrow's fucked up. It did look- it looked like a Kraken. It looked like Cthulhu. 
Yeah, no, Greater Marrow's fucked up. This is probably what that, uh, that one lighthouse in, uh, what's it called? Devil's Spine was, like, prophesizing. And also, it had already happened, because this has happened before. That's why the lighthouse lady knew about it. Yeah, this is the bad end. The other one was the good end. The good end, we die. <laughs> the bad end, everybody dies. This fucking rules. This game's great. Wonderful game. Runs like a dream. Beautiful. The art's great. The story and the writing, fantastic. The music, such a mood. Love this game. I'm glad I played it. And it really... Gosh. The, I mean, from what we learned last night, there's a lot of fishing horror out there, and there's a lot of potential with fishing horror. This game doesn't really tap so much into the aspect of fishing horror um, that's like... Oh, you, you can fish and fish up weird shit. It, you do. You fish up, like, the weird fish, which is cool, and I like that. But that's not really the scary shit in this game. The scary shit is, you know, the big fish that attack you. The, the boat that wasn't actually a boat, that's scary. Um, the big eldritch tentacle monster in Stellar's Basin. The... Piecing together the story is probably the coolest shit in this game for me. It's absolutely stellar, like, storytelling. Um, cause, like... I love when stories are told in this way where they give you pieces throughout the, the game. Like, throughout the story that you have to put together yourself. Because if you just skip over, like, all the dialogue, you wouldn't get anything. Like, you would get something from this game. There's a lot going for this game, but you wouldn't get as much out of this game because... The, with the messages, with the relics, like, the theming behind the relics, with everything with this game, it's all pieces of a puzzle. And you put that together, and the game doesn't really spell it out for you. Which is my favorite shit. You just have to figure it out your yourself. So, from what I'm gathering, we, like our wife died, probably lost at, at sea, um, tried to bring her back. That's what happened. With this evil book, from, like summoned from the depths, probably. And, uh, the collector was us the whole time. That's fucking cool. Highly recommend this game, exclamation game, if you want to check it out yourself and grab it. Um, it's also on Switch. It's, uh, it's portable. You can play it portable on the Switch, so... Definitely worth the $25 I paid for this game. Fucking phenomenal, honestly. But... It sort of sounds like Full Metal Alchemist, in a way. I mean, there's like a sacrifice being made. Uh, you make a deal with God, <laughs> you know? Yeah! Just finished it, and we're about to switch gears here. A little, little bit over, but I, I was excited. I wanted to check out the Out of Bounds secret, but uh, maybe... Maybe after Cult of the Lamb, because I want to get into that. <laughs> um, but now that I've done my, my spiel of, of Dredge, I'm gonna plug my controller in, and, um, I'm gonna BRB so I can get shit ready. And I will leave you all with some tunes. How about that? What kind of tunes? We'll figure it out. How about, uh, uh, this? No. <laughs> um, let's see. We haven't played this playlist in a bit. We'll be back in a couple minutes. I'm just gonna set things up.
I had to make sure that the uh, Cult of the Lamb overlay was uh, working. 